for joining me for this workout today. We have some seated legs. The only equipment that you will need is your chair and your band with handles, a longer band. If you don't have one, do not worry about it. You can still do all of these exercises without it. So I have you covered. Go ahead, take a second, get set up. Please make sure you are subscribed. This is just my own little brain. I like nice, <laughs> even numbers. It's driving me a little bit crazy that we are stuck at 124 subscribers. So literally, if you are not subscribed, you could be the one person to make a difference and just save me the mental anxiety of not having this even round number, nice, neat. Anyways, you get the idea, get set up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we're gonna get moving right now. All right, before we get into work for our ankles, strengthening our knees and our legs today, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just take a second here, get nice and warmed up, make sure that everything feels good in the body for the work. So we're just gonna take side taps here. And then option, if the back feels healthy today, you can kind of turn away from the outside tapping leg and you can definitely slow that down. We're just gonna get a little bit of bonus core work here. I, I wanna turn towards that leg. Good, elbows, elbows opposite of the leg. Your core is really gonna need to keep you stable and steady today, keep that low back protected. So we want it warmed up as well. Very good, we'll take one more set of these and then go ahead, just give me a light jog here, working on picking the heart rate up. Even though you are in the chair, please move those arms, get this blood flowing, oxygenate the muscles, pick that heart rate up so we are burning calories. It can be big or slower, you can march, whatever feels good, as long as you are moving and getting warm, I'm happy. This workout is here for you. I always like to remind you guys, you know what feels best for you, in general, what feels best for you today. So please modify any of these exercises that you need to. You can substitute them, you can make them different. There should not be pain in the body. You should be challenged and you should be working, but you should not be struggling and pushing through pain. So take good care of yourselves throughout this workout and beyond. Very good, nice, easy march. And then we will go ahead, lift the heel, stretch the fronts of the ankles, roll the heels up, active through that front muscle there, forward and back. Tighten that core on in, squeeze the glutes underneath you. They are working. Nice ankle mobility here, working on that front shin muscle as well. And then we will go ahead and pick the right leg up and you can scoot yourself forward in the chair a little bit so you've got more area to move. Reverse bicycle here. So as this leg comes up and in, try not to lean back away from it. Engage your core and challenge yourself to stay upright. We're gonna do 10 of these together. You should be going with me if you haven't already. Three, two, and one. We're gonna give that leg a quick break and right away 10 on the other side. Lift the knee, flex those toes up. And last one there. Back to the right leg, traditional bicycle. So now you're gonna lift the knee Kick the food out. <laughs> it might be snack time. Kick the foot out, drag the heel under 10 of those there. So we've got nine more. Very good. 
good. Three, two, and one. The difference should be, you should definitely feel this top muscle working, but maybe a little bit more of that underneath muscle. 10 on the left, so knee comes up, kick it forward. Again, try not to lean back, let these hips work. Three, two, and one. Very nice. We're gonna do all of our exercises. They're gonna be similar to that, so nothing crazy today. We're just strengthening a little bit through the legs and taking it really careful and easy with the joints. So everything without the band we will do first, and then if you have that, we can throw that in towards the end. So the right foot is gonna kick out. Toes are gonna curl all the way up so you feel active in through the quad and through the shin. Knee stays here as you just hook this heel in towards the left ankle so it doesn't have to be real high. Don't kick yourself. It's not about coming in with force. It's just bringing it in, engaging that hamstring muscle in the back and engaging this quad muscle on the kick out. So if you haven't started yet, go with me, give me 10. If you have started, just add 10 more. Good. Starts burning after a little while, halfway there. Work hard to keep this knee in place. It's just bending the heel in, kicking it out. So we're not moving any part of this top leg. Last one here. Set that down. I feel that, that burns a little bit. Let's go ahead and if you did 10 only on the right leg, just do 10, keep it even on this left side. If you had started early with me, let's shoot for 14. Flex those toes up, see where that knee is, kind of off at an angle here, heel in and out. Watch that knee, make sure it's not moving. Good, you either have three more or seven more. If you are 10, you are all done. Four more if you need to keep it even. Burning, you got this, hang in there. And four, very good, set that down. Give them all a little wiggle. We're gonna take some alternating kicks. I want you to pull the toes up first. Keep this knee as steady as possible as you lift. So it's not a kick where we're kind of kicking through the toes. We're peel the toes up, lift. So you're not even really kicking, you're just lifting the lower half of the leg. We're gonna do 20 of those alternating right and left. So keep count. Let me know if I mess it up. Very possible. Very good. Nice and slow. Knee stays right, level with those hips, foot parallel to the floor or lower. You are halfway there. Hang in here with me, you are almost done. Don't start rushing through them. You have one more set. All right, we're gonna do a little variation with the right leg only. We're gonna do 10 of these. Again, lift those toes, lift the leg, slide it out and in. You're not gonna turn your body, your hips are gonna stay forward. So we're gonna do 10 of those together. Lift. Out. That's one. Smaller movement for your modification. Good, 
when my leg is out here. My hips, my body, my shoulders are still forward. Halfway there. Take a break if you need to. three more only take that leg out as far as you can control it I would rather have a smaller movement and that foot stay up nice and high than to come further out and drop it last two for me you might be ahead and beautiful job right on over ten on the left kick it up open use your core Stay solid here. Very good. If you are paced with me, you are half, halfway there. Five more to go. Beautiful job. Watch your form. Engage your core. <sighs> Two. And this should be the last one here. Take it down. Good. Give me just a couple little ankle rolls here. Work on mobility as we just kind of take a little break. We have more work for the legs, but nothing's rushed today. Side to side, if it feels good, forward and down with the heel. If that feels good, wherever, just comes to you naturally. The body always has a way of knowing what it needs. You don't usually have to force it. Just go with whatever, whatever you gravitate towards. Let's pick the heart rate up again. Get a nice, easy jog. So I'm gonna lean my body back just a little bit, but I'm gonna still stay good posture, engaging through my core. I'm gonna move those arms a little bit up towards the shoulders this time. Jogging those legs, you will notice a little bit of core work here. Definitely should feel some work in the tops of the legs. Bigger march if jogging in the chair is not for you today. Opposite hand is gonna work out a little bit easier. Good, let the core work. Keep it nice and strong. Keep it all going. Beautiful job. We're gonna go back to those bicycles on the right leg. Little bit less of a warm up. Little bit more of a challenge this time. Good, reverse, 10 on the right. Pull it up and in. Flex those toes up. Just imagine scooping up with the toes. Four, five, very good, halfway there. Kind of skim the floor. Nine and 10, I know that quad muscle is burning, but reverse it, 10, out. Drag that heel up and in. Halfway there, six. Pull the core in, make sure you're not leaning back. Eight, nine, 10. Left side. Here we go, we've got this. Halfway. Eight, nine, and 10, reverse. Way. Eight, nine, and ten. Set that down. Very good. Lean back into your chair so you're nice and comfortable through your upper body. I don't need it doing a whole lot of work here. We're gonna pick the right leg up. You're gonna engage that top quad muscle again. It has a lot of interaction with this knee, so we are really focusing on this front one today. We're gonna take five circles out to the side. I'll demo it for you here. Pay attention so you know what's going on. All the way around, 
all the way down, all the way up. So a lot of times we do ankle circles here. It's a real small movement, it's real fast. I want you to focus on getting this circle as big as you can five times. So we'll go together. One, two, keep this knee up, foot lifted, that's three, four, and five. Beautiful drop, reverse. I know this leg is shaking. One, three, awesome. Four, last one, five. Left leg, same thing. Take them out, nice and big. We're not going for speed. We're going for a large range of motion. Three, stop at the top. That way you can't start speeding through it. Four, five, five to the inside. Stop at the top. My knee is not turning. Keeping it up, two more. Last one, beautiful. Take that down, wiggle them out a little bit if you need to. If you have a band, go ahead and grab it now. If you do not have a long band with the handles, you can use a loop band. We're gonna take this over the thighs, cross and pull it up on top. So you have a little bit of tension here. You can take the fingertips under if that band cuts into you a little bit. You should have your long band on or your thick kind of booty style band on over the legs at this point. If you don't have a band, you are just fine. You're gonna be okay. Do it without the band. So toes come in together, knees together, open and bring them in. So the force is coming out, lower, slow. Don't let that band pull you in. 10 of these will go together here. Loosen or tighten the band if you need more or less work. Out, one, two, three, four. Resist that pull in. Out, two, three, four. Very good job. Nice and steady. Kind of squeeze those cheeks underneath you. Might have to force the work in through the booty as well, but that is okay. Core nice and tight. You're halfway there. Resist that band on the way in. Hang in there. Awesome job. By my calculations, this should be your last one. It might be a bonus one. Before we let go of this band, just go ahead, adjust it around if you need to, if it kind of loosened up on you or you don't like the placement. All right, again, you can tuck those fingers under so it doesn't dig into you so much, but make sure you are not pulling with the arms. Flat feet on the floor, lift the right leg out, Resist it in, keep that foot flexed up so the foot should be parallel to the floor. Go with me here for 10. If you already started, you got some bonus ones. Slow on the way in. Out with a little bit of power. And easy in. should definitely feel the sides of the thighs working. You are halfway there. Take a break if you need to, come back to it. Loosen your band if you need to. Mine keeps rolling up under my seat, but we'll get through it. I think we have two more. Lower and slow, don't rush through this. Remember, power on the push. Easy, on the way back in. Same thing, 10, 10 to 12 here on this left side. I will leave it up to you. Kind of try to even it out with that right leg. 
Don't turn your body with this leg. The leg is just moving out side by itself. Well, not by itself, you're moving it, but it's the only thing moving. Very good, make sure that the ankle is staying underneath that left knee. this 10. If you got those bonus two on the right side, go ahead, get them over here on the left. 11 and 12. Beautiful job. Set that down. Uncurl the band. Just kind of give them a nice little shake. Maybe tap out to the side. It feels a whole lot different now without the band. Get this one under the right foot and you can take a grip where you're holding the bands here or over the top, that is up to you, whatever is more comfortable. But I want you to kind of lift this leg and there should be no slack in your band here. You can adjust from this point, but you're gonna press this foot down to the floor, barely touch the floor and lift. So now we're pushing down, we're using the back of the leg. Squeeze through the glute here on this right side. We're gonna do Let's go for 15 here on the right with me. We'll go together. Make sure that that band is staying secure under the middle of the foot. This is kind of coming towards your direction. So should this band slip out, you do not want it flying towards the face. So watch it, really pay attention here. Same thing, nice, good push. Resist, slow, we don't need a big movement. You are almost halfway. Ankle is staying under the knee the whole time here. Nine, more or less band, depending on how you are feeling, have five more. Three, two, when I say one, do not let this band go. Last one here, give me a pulse right here in the middle. Not all the way up, not all the way down. And five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot all the way up. Slide those handles down. Undo the band. Let's go on over to this left side. Same thing, please. Be certain that this band stays secure the whole entire exercise. You should be looking and watching and making sure that it is not moving. So hands, if they need a little break, give them some wrist circles. Otherwise, we're gonna do 15 here on the left. So same thing, draw that foot up, make sure the heel is under the knee and then just adjust the length of your band Start with no slack, you can length. It'll be easier to let some of this band slide through than to try to grab more band. Here we go, press and raise slow. Make sure that the whole backside of this left leg is working. If you feel a little bit of work in your right leg too, it's keeping you nice and stable. Very good. Five more here. You know the drill. When I say one, do not let this band go.
two, and one up, and 15 right here in the middle. One, set the foot down, release all tension from the band, bring it up, give those hands just a little bit of a shake, maybe a stretch, wrist circles here. We're gonna go back to the right leg, we're gonna do an ankle strengthener. Your quad muscle will be working here as well, so all kinds of benefits. Get that band nice and long little bit easier of a grip this time. So you kind of want it around the ball of the foot, but well away from the toes. So that way it is not going to roll up and snap back towards you. You do not need a ton of pressure or resistance here. Just enough that you're gonna kind of push the gas pedal. My shoes have grooves in them and it's kind of not Working out to my benefit. So here we go. Forward <laughs> and in. We're gonna do 15 here. So if you're just getting started, count them out, pause the video. If you need to, I'll take a break in between. So if you need a couple extra seconds to finish up, you have them available. If you started when I did, you're just about halfway there. Easy, push, and resist the pull on the way in. If you did your 15 with me, you are all done. If you need a couple extra seconds to finish up, you've got them. Kind of wiggle around through the body. Get set up on this left side. Try to give it the same amount of resistance. 15 here, same thing, push it out. Bring it back in nice and easy. We'll do, hopefully, we're on the same schedule now. 15 together, press, and back in slow. Pay attention. They move around on you. Five. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Lower that down. Kind of create a loop here. With this band, again, if you have no band, you're doing all these same things. It's not a good excuse to quit the workout. You just do it without the band. So with or without the band, you've got the loop. Both hands are holding both ends, both hands. <sighs> you guys, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't come out the way it's supposed to. Both of the band ends are in the left hand. It's around the middle of the right foot. Heel stays into the floor. You're just gonna turn the foot out. You're not lifting, you're just sliding. 15 here to the right, we'll go together now. Keep the knee over the ankle. Wider or narrower is okay. Still paying attention to where that band is. Hopefully you are too. Two 
two more here on this side. And five. Let that band come in. You're pinning it with the foot. Take that off. Set it around the left foot. Make sure your placement is good. Take the band ends to the right hand and just kind of hold them here nice and secure. Get the left foot in a comfortable place, wider, narrower, further in, further out, but make sure that hopefully that ankle is under the knee. Slide the foot out, slide it back in slope 15 on this side as well. more on this side. Release it back in. Take the band all the way down, no tension. Step the foot off and then you can go ahead, toss that to the side. If it is gonna be secured and out of your way, you don't wanna trip over it when you stand up. We're gonna go ahead, cool down and stretch. Now is the chance to give me some nice, easy kicks forward. Good, and you can kind of massage through the tops of the legs if you're feeling some of that work in there. And then, very good, bring them on down and you can cross the right heel over the left leg or if it is easy for to bring it up and over, that is okay too. Either way, we're just gonna kinda take this nice twist here. And then bring it back forward and just kinda guide underneath this thigh. Draw this leg up and in, and then see if you can extend the foot, heels come up, you can walk the hands down to give yourself a little more support. You can skip this if it's not something that feels good either. And then cross that heel over. Let gravity assist you in bringing this right leg down. Sit on it nice and tall. Take a good deep breath in. Just imagine folding like a piece of paper at the waist forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, take it forward, hands just somewhere comfortable, maybe some wrist circles because holding on to that band is good work for those hands too. Either way, press those hips down and back as you kind of stretch the chest forward, get into that sciatic area, and then go ahead, flex that foot, a couple little ankle circles or wiggles here. Bring it on up, take that one back down. Cross the left leg over the top or over the front. Nice, good deep breath in. Exhale, take that little bit of a twist. Hug those abs in. And take that on forward, same thing. Underneath that thigh, just gently guide that knee up, getting into that hip a little bit. Great place for ankle circles here. I kind of did it without even thinking about it. Extend that foot up, stretch into the hamstring. You can support from anywhere in this leg. You can have a bend in the knee or you can skip it. Cross it over. Let that knee ease on down, sit on up nice and tall. And exhale, bending at the waist forward and inhale, lift. This is one of my favorite stretches. I'm hoping that you are enjoying this one. It's a great place to work, great place to stretch and relax. Hold it here on this one. 
anything that feels good in this ankle here, go ahead and take that. I am so proud of you guys for getting through this workout today. Having to modify your workouts and take them in a seated position would be a very convenient excuse to skip your workouts. And I'm proud of you guys that you stuck through it here with me to the end. I always like to remind myself and everyone else, do what you can until you can do more. So this would be very convenient to say, oh, it's just tough or oh, I have challenges and I just would, ah, I'm gonna skip it, it's too hard. But you guys did it, you're, you're working out, I'm proud of you and I am honored that you chose to work out with me and I definitely hope you enjoyed it. Ease that on up. Take that leg on down, lean back, slide those feet forward and then just kind of give them a good little shake there. There is no rush to return back to daily life. So if those legs need just a couple seconds here to relax before you get on with whatever it is you have going on, you take that, relax. And then when you are ready, you just take that nice, good deep breath in. And then let that go. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did awesome. Thank you so much for watching until our next workout. Please make sure you are subscribed and that you take good care of yourself. I will see you guys again soon. Thank you.